This is part two of the video series for how to sleep when you're injured or in pain or had surgery, and this time it's for your knee. Now, similar things going on, sleeping on your back, sleeping on your side, as we did for the lower back. A few tips with this one. When you sleep on your back for your knee, because when you've had knee surgery, when you've got knee injury, you're probably not gonna lie on your side because if you've got a sore knee, with them touching together hurts a little bit, all right? Now even putting a pillow between your legs, sometimes people don't like it. So if you can't sleep on your side because of knee pain, it's not comfortable, and you do want to sleep on your back, go back to the rules of shallow pillow there for your neck, okay? But when you've got this, this is going to have to go under the knee, okay? Now, depending on what sort of knee injury you've got. You might want to be in a lot of flexion because you simply just can't strain it. That's where you're going to have to have maybe a bit of a, a quite a bulky area here. Now I'll probably just put this under one leg. You can put it under two if you like, but if you just want to have it under one because you like having the other leg straight, and you know, trust me, it's more important that you get a good night's sleep than worrying about what position you're in. This position here is probably going to be the most comfortable if you've got a knee injury like that, okay? The beauty about this position here is you can put an ice pack under here as well. So if you need to ice at night, ice at rest, this is a great position for you to be in. Ice it here, or ice back on top. And then that position is, you know, really comfortable. Obviously, with a protocol with knee surgery, over time, you're gonna try and go down to sort of this sort of thing, then eventually down to there. But being an extension for, you know, eight hours a night is probably gonna be a bit uncomfortable. That's where you might wanna go onto your side, especially if you're a side sleeper. Now what I suggest you do with a knee injury, again, get rid of that one. The decent pillow comes back, maybe the foam crushed feather mixture pillow that you can mold, it's good for your neck. That one comes back. And these bulky pillows that are probably around the house somewhere in your, on your sofa or in the spare room, what I suggest you do perhaps with a knee injury is have two. Now, if you've got the luxury of having a triangle pillow, which is sort of well, like, a, like that position, they are even better because they are sort of like the formation of your knees. So if you want your knees still in a bent position or you're a side sleeper, then have that sort of either one pillow or two pillow triangle like that to keep it in that position, okay? And I would suggest that you have the sore knee on top, okay? Not down here, all right? To have the sore knee on top, it may mean you have to sleep on the other side that you normally have to sleep on, but so be it. If it gives you a good night's sleep because you're in less pain and you're more comfortable, then that's how I'd go. Again, if you don't want to move, pillow behind, hug a pillow on the front, and there you are. So that's your knee one.